have us. I'm just happy. I love to be in the presence of God. I love to worship. And it is a joy to be in the presence of God. Serving God is not in vain, dear ones. Serving God, those who are serving God right now, it doesn't matter where you're serving. It's not in vain. Continue serving Him. Atazile Maumbi, you're praying right now. God will answer them. You know, I was also praying for a husband those days. And I thank God that He blessed me with one. So the daughters of Zion, you're trusting God to provide one. He will always bring him to you. Praise the Lord. The men of courage, those who are trusting God to bring the one, he will bring her to you. But you have to go and find. <laughs> so uh, we are a, a bit complicated topic here. But I know that uh, by the grace of God, we are going to deal with this. It's about dating, courtship, and marriage. I know some are dating here. Yes. I know maybe soon you're going to be in marriage. And I know that this is a good topic. Before then, let's go to Corinthians, chapter 6. I to swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that you will not get a wife for my son from the daughters of, of the Canaanites, among whom I am living, but will go to my country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to come back to, with me to this land? Shall I then take your son back to the country you came from? Make sure that you do not take my son back there, Abraham said. The Lord, the God of heaven, who brought me out of my father's household and my native land, and who spoke to me and promised me on an oath, saying to your offspring, I will give you this land, I will give this land, he will send his angel before you so that you can get a wife for my son okay. from there. Okay, verse 12. Verse 12. Then he prayed, O Lord God of my servant, Abraham, give me... Give me success today and show kindness to my master Abraham. See, I am standing beside this spring and the daughter of, of the town's people are coming out to draw water. May it be that when I say to the girl, please let, let down your jar that I may have a drink. And she says, drink and I'll, and I'll water your camels too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. 17. 17. The servant hurried to meet her and said, Please give me a little water to, from your jar. Drink, my lord, she said, and quickly lowered the jar to, and gave him a drink. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll draw water from your camels too, for your camels too, until they have finished drinking. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough, ran back to the well to draw more water, and do enough for all his camels. Okay, uh, because of time. But you can bear me witness that as long as you are trying to date, as long that you, as long as you are courting someone, you are focusing on marriage. That is true. So if you are focusing on marriage, what is that goal? And you need to know that you are not supposed to be yoked together with an unbeliever. Praise the Lord. As long as you are purposing towards this marriage, you need to know that you are not supposed to date someone who is not of your faith. Praise the Lord. And you know, when I'm starting about, uh, when I'm talking about this dating, where does it start? It starts from love, mutual love between the two. Praise the Lord. And here I'm talking about a, a man and a woman. See you? Praise the Lord. So there must be that connection. There must be that uh, emotional connection. And that is what we call love. Love is that affection. How do you feel? Because you cannot marry someone you don't love. When I used to you with. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot marry someone you don't love. New queen. Men of courage. New queen. You have to love the person. You know, for us ladies, we, we reciprocate. The men love. But we ladies, baby, do you know that ladies? You are just reciprocating the love that the man is giving you. 
you come on a shikayo, you just reciprocate. But for the men, you love. So for a man, you cannot be with someone you don't love. And that is where it starts. And the Bible says that God is love. True? God is love. And so if you really want to, to love someone better, if you really want to love how God loves, you have to love God first. Love God, love yourself, and then love someone else. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it all starts with love, that mutual understanding, mutual connection, and then you agree to walk together. You agree to walk the journey together. Praise the Lord. You agree as a, as a lady, as a, as, a, um, as a man, to walk the journey together. And then, dating now. Let me talk about dating. In this dating, remember you've already agreed, okay? It's the first, I usually say that it's the first stage. Because dating is going to involve you knowing one another. Cindy, remember this is the person you never knew. Who you knew to just Or rather, you, 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 are, you don't share blood. You are not connected through any blood ties. And now you have to start now learning about the person. So what does, I'm going to do a bit of teaching here. What does dating involve? And so there are some things that you need to know before dating. What are some of the things that you need to know before dating? And the first thing is you need to understand the benefits and dangers of dating. You have to understand what is the benefit of this relationship? Where is it taking me? And then what are the dangers of dating? So before you get into that dating period, before you go to that lady, you know the men come. <laughs> but you know, I'm told now that during this 21st century, even the ladies are going for them. Uh, do you agree with that, men? Yes. Should a lady come to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? But I'm told, my hubby tells me that men are hunters. So you think this lady is cheap when she's coming to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, that is a discussion for another day. So make sure that you understand what is the benefit of this relationship. And it's my prayer that you will have a certain goal as you date. I know some of you are dating. So as you date, make sure it's that specific goal. And let it be marriage. And when you go into marriage, make sure you have a goal to serve God together. You know, God loves a motive. What is your motive of the relationship? Is it just to, uh, to have sex with the person? And then, you know, to go to Nasema those days, during the campus days, that uh, the relationships in Yisiliasa first year, as it was in Atoka Inche, before graduation, and I can bear, you can bear me witness it is true. Some of the relationships, so as men who know God, as women who know God, as ladies of substance, as those daughters of Zion, as those men of courage, make sure that you don't do like what the world is doing. But yes, was if you will. And that is why when you read the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, the Bible says that uh, do not be conformed to the patterns of the world, but be ye transformed. Do not do what the people of the world are doing. You know, they are saying sex before marriage is just a, it's nice. You cannot, uh, you cannot buy a, 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 a what? A vehicle that you've not tested. Last <laughs> month a road test. <laughs> that is what they are saying. That is what them, they are saying, okay? But what about you? You know God. And he says that sex is done in marriage. Yes? And we, when we read the Bible, in the book of Genesis, we read the story of Adam and him. So, God bless their union. So, sex is a gift to the married people. I don't know what I'm your mother. You don't like the topic. <laughs> eh? You're too serious. Yeah, but that is the point. La last week I saw that you had something on sexual purity. As you date, maintain sexual purity. It is very possible. Don't tell me that it's not possible. I have my hubby here. We had said to Akuna before that it will be after. <laughs> Another point that you need to know before dating. Regard dating as a choice and not a necessity. Dating is a choice. 
is not a necessity. When you take dating as a necessity, that is where we come in for desperation. This lady is desperate. This man is desperate. He has been at broken the other day. And because he wants to Felicia the girl, he, he looks for another person. That is desperation. Don't be forced by that. Okay? Let that not be your focus. So, just know that it is a choice. You choose. It's not a must. See Paul and Nicaragua in the Bible. It's not a must. But, you know, even God said that uh, it's better to marry than to, yes. than to burn with. So, it's a choice you make. Dating is a choice. Don't take it like a necessity. Don't uh, take it like something that must be there. When you take it like a choice, you are going now to limit yourself to some things. If maybe this is too much, you are going now to make sure uh, to make sure that you don't do something that is going to uh, be against the will of God. But yes, was feeling. Another point you also need to understand: dating does not make you complete. God is the one who makes you complete. So, uh, uh, when I was growing up, I would hear that uh, the stories about, you know, you make me complete, no. God should first make you complete. Because the singleness period, that is the period. Any single here? Yeah. yeah, you know, you need to be proud to be single, eh? Yeah. Lady Simeona, that gave Simeona. <laughs> Okay, singleness period, but they don't see that, oh, akiwoya, kuna mwenye nakuja. And for the gents, don't feel like, aki, uh, uh, nakatia uyu, ananikata, everyone is saying, no, they have someone. No. See, God allows you to be single because he wants you to first to love yourself. Singleness is that period when you love yourself. Singleness is that period when you make, you let uh, yourself know about your inner emotions. You really know about yourself. You really know about your identity. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's why now after knowing who I am, who am I in God? Who am I? What is my passion in God? Am I really walking in his ways? And then right now, when you feel now you are complete in God and with God, that is the best time to go for this person. That is the best time to start your dating. When I ask you to pray the God. Amen. And then uh, another thing that you need to know is you start dating. Don't compromise. Don't compromise God's standards. Many people are saying, you know, in the world everyone is doing this. Let me do this. In your dating, if there is anything that God does not like, is impurity, being impure, sexual. God does not like that. And you know, a sexual sin is one of the sins that it's, it has got the soul ties. You know, they are soul ties. So make sure that you don't compromise godly standards of dating. Just love that person. Just interact, but with boundaries. I'm coming to that. So, now you've already started dating, okay? That was just before. Now you've already started dating. And so, as you date, the things that you need to focus on when you are dating, the first thing is work towards building an intimacy in that dating period. So, I'm trying to do this because I know that there are some who are not yet in it. I know there are others who are in it. So, when you are dating, Work towards building your intimacy. As a fiancé or a fiance, make sure that you build your intimacy. Mark my words here. I'm not focusing on sexual intimacy here. It's more than that. Intimacy is more than sexual action. Praise the Lord. It is more than this. And now you're going to, are you sure? I'm defining it as a deeper. That is, it's deeper than the physical and sexual relation. The intimacy, it's not all about the physical touching, touching, kissing, kissing, all those. It's not about that. It's more than this. It's more than everything that you are doing. It's all about understanding your inner emotions as a couple. 
Let me use the word couple now. You understand because you've already agreed to work together. Understanding your weakness, understanding your partner's weakness, understanding what are my strengths, and then building one another. Praise the Lord. That is what we refer to as intimacy. So as you date, create time together, learn more about each other, open up. What are your, your dreams? That is another point is that, that it is that period when you try to share your dreams. What are your visions as a man? Men, men of courage in the house. Uh -huh. Don't go to that lady before knowing yourself and knowing your visions. Utaida Kwambi, now you don't have money. But what is your plan? Menyamaza. No. You don't have, I know you are a student now, but five years to come, what is your plan? Where do you want to be? And so you come up with a vision, and the lady will try to push you now. A good lady does that. Ladies, yes. make sure that you, you, you push your husband, or rather your, your fiancé, to the level that they are the best. Make sure that uh, if maybe there is a vision that they have, you are the carriers of that vision. You will help them to actualize it. You are the ones to make sure that they actualize their dream. Hello. Yes. They, are, they have the vision. So a man, men of courage, uh -huh. have that dream, have that vision. So it is in a pesa, my dear, but five years to come, I'm trusting God to have this, to do this, to invest in this. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Atta Kata. <laughs> she, Atta Kata, you just know that Hana Pesa is easy, but he has a vision. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Another thing, date in that period of dating, make sure that you're dating your friend and not your lover. Yes. Build friendship. Build friendship. Why am I saying that? I know most of you think are uh, trying to say no. I think you're wrong. You date your date your love and not your no. Friendship is more than love. A friend is more than a lover. A friend is someone who will try to be always there for you. A friend is someone who will always understand you. Why am I not saying that a lover? A lover, that love, you know love is emotions. Sometimes the emotions will go. Sometimes this person is going to be angry. Utamkosea. By the way, marriage is not a bed of roses. <laughs> <laughs> there are ups and downs. But how did your dating go? How did you try to figure out your dating period? That is what is going to, uh, to, to, to show how your marriage is going to be. How are you dating? Because our, our men here don't like disrespect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Imagine our Jesse Mayo and our Tetea. <laughs> our men, very men, men have a certain ego. Let me talk to them, Yasi. <laughs> men have a certain ego. And so when you try as a lady to, to bring it down, when I feel high, <laughs> when I feel like we are not supposed to go and stand out, working for the men's. <laughs> when I feel I want your courage. So when and remember he loves you. So when you try to lower his ego, atakuwa courage ata yakuongea before the other men. That is how serious their ego is. These men are jealous. <laughs> These men are jealous. They usually, uh, my hubby tells me, just like God is jealous, you know, God is a jealous God. <laughs> and yeah, they, they have that image of God. God is a jealous God. And so when they see that you are diverting your attention to another person, and they are the main ones, <laughs> you can uh, tell me about a Senior. So let's try to build their ego, ladies, as you did. Build your man's ego always. Build, tell him, they love praises, by the way. Praise him always. You're good. I love how you <laughs> You look, if maybe they address him well, appreciate them, compliment them, tell them they, they are handsome. If they, they are good just for a shame, tell them, wow, you look good. Appreciate 
appreciate them they look you are boosting their ego they are also going to and that is how now they are going to work hard to please you you know we ladies we love to be worshipped men <laughs> <laughs> ladies uh, we as ladies we love to be worshipped worship me and i will praise you <laughs> yeah. I praise you, you worship me. How do you worship me? Compliments. Ladies, sit in a penda. Yeah. You look beautiful in that dress. I love the high heels. You look good. I love how you speak. I love how you do this. Worship them. And I tell you that relationship is going to work in Jesus' name. Yeah. But make sure you put God first. Make sure you don't compromise according to the worldly standards. Make sure that whatever you are doing, you are involving God. Another point, as you date, pray. Pray. Not everyone is happy because you are dating. It is an important. Not everyone is happy because you have a boyfriend. Yeah. Men, not everyone is happy because you have that lady. She's very beautiful. And another man is saying, Pray. Those are the dream killers. Mm. The dream killers are everywhere. They'll come to kill your dream. Atakuja, uh, even they can bring some negative, you know, she's not worthy for you, he's not worthy for you. And he does this, he has other women, you see? Yes. That is the, the narrative that is around. But when you involve God, God will always have your back. God will always push you. God will always help you and give you that self-control that you need. I know it is not easy to maintain sexual purity. You are this person. You love one another. Your body is not made of metal. Hmm? Your body is not made of metal. You have that blood flowing and you love this person for real. But the Holy Spirit will always give you that self-control. He will tell you, no, this is wrong. Remember, you are born again. Remember, there are people looking up to you. Hello. Hello. In dating, that is where you discover more about your partner's strengths and weakness. No one is perfect, girls and guys. No one is perfect. So when you are dating, you are going to discover this man is good in this. This man, recognizing weaknesses, recognizing that by day they don't change. Yeah, there are some weaknesses that I talk to my work on them, work on them, work on them. We talk about sing the same song. True, have you? True, true. It's true. Yeah, it is true. So. As a lady, as a man, everyone is not perfect. You are just coming together to complement each other. So, don't dwell on that weakness. Akona strength, akona weaknesses. Don't dwell on those weaknesses. Focus on quinoa, those strengths. Eh? Focus on lifting the person. You are good in this. Uh, pulling, or rather pushing. Pull, pushing to go to that extent that you want. And I know that by so doing, you are going out to have to aim towards marriage. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.